following footsteps. On July 5, 1995, Floyd Sweet suffered a fatal heart attack at the age of 83. A couple of weeks before his death, Sweet said that the automotive industry was testing his power his power unit for use in cars, and that they had a unit running for 5,000 hours. He said he was dealing with people at General Motors, but no one has been able to confirm Sweet's claims. The VTA itself is bogged down in legal problems. But Tom Bearden, who put much of his own time and money into the project, hopes that the VTA can be resurrected so that the world will realize what a pioneer Floyd Sweet was. And despite the confusion surrounding Sweet's affairs at the time of his death, other researchers are continuing this line of research. Confusion and secrecy. The automotive industry may not have been the only potential investor that Sweet was dealing with. At the time of his death, there was some confusion concerning the rights to Sweet's hardware and papers, held by Sweet's second wife, Violet. Bearden says that Sweet signed a number of agreements with a number of backers, and that some of these people have claimed rights to the invention. At least two of these investors say they want Sweet's laboratory equipment, inventions, and technical papers to go into AP Ropo's Floyd Sweet Museum so that other researchers could study the technology. Walter Rosenthal is trying to help all parties work towards an agreement. Despite Bearden's urging, Sweet never had the VTA certified by independent testing. He feared that his life would be snuffed out immediately if he even attempted such a thing, Bearden says. Hello all, uh, we're back with this uh, split core transformer uh, saga, as I'm beginning to call this. Uh, right, I've uh, got the drawing here. It was recently posted in OVInti. I've just added a 25 turn secondary coil through the split limbs of the uh, U-Core transformer. Um, I've also got a 9.3 milli Henry inductance uh, provided by the secondary winding of this 240 to 12 volt um, mains toroidal transformer. Um, I've discovered that better, uh, higher inductance gives a better result. Uh, uh, otherwise, everything has, is as per 680 nanofarad capacitor. All right, we'll switch on, and um, uh, as you can see, Baratologus, we have a conventional Royer voltage now. On the uh, this is channel one. That's looking at the um, supply across the primary windings of the split core transformer and this one here channel 2 as you can see is 1 volt peak to peak and that's looking at the voltage across the and as you can see that's a my goodness 195 volts if that's because that's times 10 so it's saying 1.9 I get confused with this. <laughs> uh, anyway, and you can see the bulb is a, is a 12 volt bulb. I'm beginning to doubt myself now. Um, just switch the other scope on, and Let's go one to one with the probe. Oh my goodness. Right. That's 20 volts per centimeter. There's 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140, 160, and it's peaking out as you can see. Okay, so I don't know why I doubt myself, but there we are. Keep, um, we are. Right. Okay, right, this is the odd thing. Now we've got, if I, this is the core was actually pulled apart. I bring in the two halves of the core together, 
current's gone up as you can see frequency's gone up let's just change still about 31 volts on that now then watch this I'm going to turn the core around and start to hear that and look at this now That's gone up to 300 volts off cross. <laughs> and what's the output voltage? That's 134 volts on this car headlamp bulb. But what is really odd is it won't light a mains bulb at all. Uh, notice the current's quite. Um, and you'll also notice that. The oscillation's there, I don't know whether, I'm hoping that the microphone will hear it. Right, just very quickly now, turn the voltage off, pop it slightly. By the way, I don't know whether you can see this capacitor, uh, uh, it's under serious duress, look at the bulging in it, it's been getting warm. Uh, and it's certainly been doing some work, but this is um, goodness me, a 0.47 microfarad. So we'll get a higher frequency. Oh my goodness! That's on. We just noticed an anomaly with the fluorescent light. <laughs> I don't know whether we've brought that about. <laughs> okay, all sorts of strange things go on here. Okay, right, look, we've now got a much higher frequency. Very strange uh, looking. Now, here we go, bring the core halves together. You can see the current's gone sky high. Oh, and I can also say that there is a voltage being generated across these ferrites because it's giving me a tingle. Right, this is the way it's supposed to be. Okay. And it's quite nicely stuck in a traction. But as you can see, look, it starts to get... I don't know. Maybe somebody can tell me what's going on. Right, let's go down now to a lower frequency. You should be able to hear this. This is uh, 4.5 microfarad, 2, 2.2 somethings in uh, parallel. That's making quite an audible, and as you can see that on the scope the frequencies drop. And this is how the transformer is supposed to be connected. As you can see, things have, in point of fact, we've virtually lost the input. Now then, let's turn it round. Goodness knows what that voltage is now on the... <laughs> there we go, we've actually got 320 volts now on the output across the Royer. Uh, and... Channel 2. That's showing 99 volts. Why this bulb isn't blowing, I don't know. It's bright, but as I stressed before, it won't light a mains bulb. And look at the. Oh my goodness, that's. Uh, th this core is generating some voltage. The actual ferrite, you can feel it. I don't touch.
375 volts across the primary now so that's not royal behaviour is it um, okay I think we'll call it there I don't know what you're going to make of this frankly I don't know what to make of it um, anyway thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed it cheers and finally we have a gift for you that is tricks to reduce your electricity bill by at least 75% and the way to complete energy independence, get rid of the monopoly of big energy, you will never have to pay for electricity. electricity. Method, amplify electricity to make output power greater than input power. See link in description. Thanks for watching.